I like to talk about this creative journey, the journey that starts with just doing this, just talking to the camera. Many talented people don't ever start I almost never started, but the difference is that I did. I just sat in front of the camera, just like I'm doing now, and I pressed that record button. What I want to talk about in this video is why creating by yourself isn't only something that's genuinely possible, but it's also rewarding and fulfilling. Creating by yourself means that you have the freedom to pursue your own vision without relying on anyone else's approval, feedback or support. And in this modern social media, post everything everywhere sort of thing, you don't need to post it everywhere to be creative. You are the sole owner of your creative process and you can make it as unique, as personal and as public as you want it to be. You're the one that can experiment, you can learn, you can grow and you can express yourself in ways that no one else can. Creating by yourself does come with its own challenges though. You may face self-doubt, loneliness, frustration and burnout. You may struggle to find time, energy or resources to keep going. You may wonder if anyone cares about you, what you're doing or if it's making any impact. But just remember this, you are not alone in those feelings. A lot of creators actually feel the same way. And that's why I want to share with you some advice and motivation that's helped me along the way. These aren't going to be rules or formulas, but they're rather principles and mindsets that can hopefully guide you and inspire you to create by yourself. First, Remember your why. Why did you start creating by yourself in the first place? What is your passion, your purpose, your message? What do you want to share with the world or with yourself? Keep that in mind whenever you feel lost or discouraged. Your why is your fuel, your motivation, and your reason to keep going. Second, embrace your uniqueness. Don't compare yourself to others or try to fit in a mold. You're not here to copy, imitate, or please anyone else. You are here to create for yourself and that means that you have something original and valuable to offer celebrate your strengths your quirks your style your voice be proud of who you are and what you do third enjoy the process don't focus too much on the outcome the results or the feedback while those can be important in terms of learning what your audience wants they don't have to be the main goal at the start your main goal is to create by yourself and have fun doing it. Enjoy the journey, the learning, the discovery, the expression. Enjoy the challenges, the failures, the successes and the surprises. Enjoy that feeling of creating something out of nothing, something that is yours and yours alone. Fourth, connect with others. Creating by yourself doesn't mean that you have to be isolated or lonely. You can still reach out to other creators, other people who share your passion, your vision, or your interests. You can collaborate, exchange ideas, support, or feedback. You can join communities online or offline where you can find inspiration, encouragement, or friendship. You can connect with your audience, your fans, your followers, or your customers. You can share your story, your process, your products, or your services. You can listen to their feedback, their questions, their suggestions, or their testimonials and you can also build relationships trust and loyalty while you can create by yourself just remember you don't have to create alone fifth keep learning and improving Creating by yourself means that you are always going to be in charge of your own growth and development. You are the one that's responsible for your own skills, knowledge and performance. Allow yourself to be always open to new opportunities, new challenges, new possibilities. Be willing to learn from others, from your own experience and from your own mistakes. You should always be striving to improve yourself, make your next video better than your last video, your craft, your business or your impact. You might always be creating by yourself, but you should never be done creating. By following these principles, I find that they have helped me on my creative journey so far and hopefully they resonate with you too and help you create by yourself with more passion, confidence and joy. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you're creating by yourself. If you wanna see more videos about the creative journey, check out this playlist and Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.